Hello dear friends. Today we are going to talk about one of the most important job interview questions which is also one of the most dreaded question and that is tell me about yourself. I've started a series of interview skills in which I'll one by one start picking some of the most important topics and things that we can talk about in an interview to make sure that we are at success in that. Let's start with tell me about yourself. Now tell me about yourself is one of the most vital questions you will be asked in your interview ever. In fact, I'll go ahead and say that it is perhaps the most important question. I'll also say that it is not the only one question that will allow you to leave a long lasting impression with the managers, but it's incredibly easy to pull it in. All you need is to be structured in your pitch, a structure that will allow you to present your background effectively. In this video, I have tried my best to talk in details as to how you should answer this job interview question. Precisely, it's all about having a structure, knowing what to say, knowing what not to say and presenting your background smoothly while making sure that you're mentioning some of the most important elements in your background, which is also what the hiring managers or your interviewer must be looking for. In your two to three minute pitch, you need to make sure that you present your background in a way that it clearly gets the attention of the interviewer on the points that you want to raise with them. See, the interviewer's ultimate goal is to decide if you are a good fit for the job or not. And he's being paid to do so. So he's going to be very good with his skills. Your answer to this question will actually dictate your first impression for the interviewer. Now, we all know that we obviously mention about ourselves in our resume. Probably that's the only thing we are talking about in our entire three to four page resume. But why would an interviewer ask this question if he already has an answer to this? Well, everybody thinks that this is the question that would be something where they can actually see how you are going to react to something that you didn't know would be asked. We all know that this question will be asked, don't we? But we never prepare for this question to be answered. Everybody thinks that you are asked this question because hiring managers want to see your response to something that you might not be prepared to answer, despite knowing that this would definitely be one of the questions in your interview. Secondly, some people also argue that this question is asked to see that what you think about the most important part of your own background. They want to know what you think is the highlight of all your you know, career life. Try to be concise, enthusiastic, but do not overdo it. Well, according to me and uh, most of the people I have talked with, interacted with or gone for interviews in, they say that the most important reason that managers or interviewers ask this question is because they wish to see your presentation skills. Companies are looking for people who are presentable, impressive and charismatic. So make sure that you are confident while you are answering this question because if you keep on fumbling or if you keep on finding answers while you are sitting in the interview, this is going to leave a very, very, very bad impression on your interviewer. So this question gives you an opportunity to talk about something that you know most about and that is yourself. So if you cannot present this then probably you cannot present anything and this is where the interviewer sometimes would decide not to keep you as a priority candidate. Coming to what to answer. Now this is the most important question. You know, people say, ma'am, you said, I'm not about to say this. I should not be going through that. But then what should I answer? 
So here you can choose your own approach, but you really need to be prepared about it. Remember that there's a small line between an overqualified candidate and an overachiever. Please do not overdo it. While you present your important skills, do not make the interviewer feel that you're overqualified for the position that you are giving interview for. Please do not start with the life story. You just need to be concise and precise about what you are going to talk. Talk about only your highest qualification and don't begin with your high school and everything. They are not interested in your stories. Nobody is. You need to sound natural and spontaneous while conveying the most important points about yourself to make the best impression. Exactly what you should be answering depends entirely on the job profile you have applied for, skills they are looking for. I suggest you should always prepare bullet points about most important things that you want the interviewer to know. Uh, well, there is a small approach that I'll talk about in my next slide through which you can probably summarize your answer and be sure and confident about how you are going to take this up. Coming to the stepwise approach. So the interviewer is precisely looking for these three things when he asks you this question, when he asks you to present yourself. One is who you are, what qualifies you for this opening and why you're here for his company. Starting with who you are. Do not walk through your resume detail by detail. Talk only about the relevant information. Tell them things you want them to know about you and just not stories about your life. Trust me, no one is interested in those. Well, one of the examples here can be that you can probably use and uh, I'm trying to give this out to you because you can mold it according to your own profile. So just as an example, maybe you can say that I am an experienced IT engineer who has managed or worked on XYZ technology from basic tasks to extreme critical stuff that you might have done. So if you're an HR, you can just say that, you know, I'm an experienced HR who has managed or worked with XYZ company and I have done almost all the tasks from hiring to management of candidates to whatnot. Now comes the next and the most important point that is your bullet point for this job. Why you are qualified for this particular job opening. Please make sure that you are not overdoing this. Keep it under 2 minutes wrap and share your biggest selling points. In this answer you can give a chronological overview of the positions you've held with your key accomplishments tailored to the job requirement. Remember, you might be an overachiever, but if your accomplishments do not get matched with their job requirements, they are not going to hire you. It is not about the summary of job duties, but the kind of performance analysis. So you will have to talk about what was above and beyond in what you did. Say, for example, if you're in marketing executive, you may answer this question as, that I spent last 10 years developing my skills as marketing ex executive for ABC company and there I have received various awards and accolades. Now, please, I am re-emphasizing this fact. Talk about your selling points with regards to the particular job opening you are here for, not about everything you have achieved in life. Now the third and the most important part you need to cover is why you're here. It, an interviewer or a manager would always want to know that why you're leaving your previous organization. So here also keep it short. Do not speak more than two to three sentences. I'll give you an example for this one. You can probably pick the safest answer for all kind of job profiles which is Although I love my current role, I feel I'm not ready for more challenging roles and this job profile excites me. So here you're saying, 
although i love my current role i feel that now i am ready for a more challenging role and the particular company's job profile suits you and it excites you so your interviewer is definitely going to take those points and consider you as a prospective candidate for the opening now what you are going to do now is that you've got everything in bits and pieces about how and what you should be mentioning the most important thing comes now is to combine these steps and summarize your answer you can combine the points and get using the mentioning approach put it together so here's an example that i am putting you to make it easy for you trust me your confidence your conciseness your enthusiastic approach your positive attitude and point to point answer is the key to getting hired to most of the companies you would any day go for interview to so here's an example that i would like to quote and you can use it like i have it i have 8 years of experience as a technical lead for xyz company i recently helped develop an award f- winning fundraising platform for a cause i am a person who thrives in fast paced environment so right now i am looking for an opportunity to apply my technical problem solving abilities and creative skills for a challenging role so here in your first line you are introducing yourself that you have 8 years of experience as a technical lead for xyz company here you can talk about the other companies that you have worked in a chronological order then you are giving them your selling point which would be that you have recently helped develop an award winning fund raising platform for a cause now if it's an award winning some platform or anything that is an achievement or there is some kind of star rating you have received or any promotions you have received then that is definitely going to impress the recruiter then you can tell them that why you are here so you can say that you are a person who thrives in the fast environment and so right now you are looking for an opportunity to apply your technical problem solving skills and creative skills so here you are selling your points that you have technical problem solving abilities and creative skills for a challenging role So all in all when you combine this you can create beautiful answers for this question and remember it is going to be 99% interviews that you are going to get this question and it's going to be for 90% of the people that who know this would come but would still not prepare for this I would suggest that you should be preparing for this one question because this leaves your everlasting impression on the recruiter So I'm ending this with a positive note. Remember, it's your attitude, not your aptitude that will determine your altitude. So, this means that it's your attitude, the way you present yourself, not your, you know, aptitude skills that will determine how high you rise in your life. You can get in touch with me on Facebook. These are my profile details. I am there with the name of Tech Girl Twenty Three, and I have a page as well with the name of Technical Girl. You can also email me at Tech Girl Two Three Five Nine One at Gmail dot com. You are going to get these details in the description of this video. Please do get in touch with me. I'll be waiting for your suggestions, your feedbacks, and anything you'd like me to cover further. Thank you so much for listening through this.